All right, and it looks like we're ready to go. Hello, everybody. What is going on? Welcome back to Comic Books vs. the World on Twitch. And we are getting ready to play episode two of Batman the Telltale series. Now, I believe I got all my settings in order. So let's go ahead. Let's not waste any more time. Let's just start the episode. So this will be generated. Yeah, I started playing episode one again. I never got around to finishing it. That's fine. I'll go back and play the whole thing maybe in a future stream. But just for now, we're going to go ahead and say OK and just move on from there. And I've been waiting for this all day. This is going to be so awesome. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Harvey Dent, Harvey Gotham's Dent. next mayor. Next mayor. to know you. Vicky Vale. Vicky vale. Not interested. Not and interested. reporter for and the Gotham Gazette. Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Carmine. Is the Dent campaign the soliciting Dent votes from Gotham's, Gotham's Gotham. biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. All right, well, so far it line seems line like the, the choices I made it's so dangerous. far. Like, I recognize the... Uh, the the dialogue there with Falcone. I bet. <laughs> this is Selena. I do like how the game gives you kind of like a previously on thing, Ready? like it just gives it kind of <sighs> like a television feel, and I think that's really cool. Falcone's calling card. The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played in, couldn't you? It's... <coughs> the Waynes. So now that I don't remember doing. Alright, so... The Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> maybe, I don't remember that from the last episode either though, so maybe there's a little bit of things I don't remember, maybe there's some stuff uh, they changed. You know, I mean, obviously it's all the auto-completed you know, choices, so who knows, They maybe they gave me some stuff I didn't do. Story is tailored by how you play. All right, let's get into it. Alright, so visit the crime alley. Cool, cool. You don't have to do this. Only you now, Master Bruce. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. Mm. People are throwing stones at my family, Alfred. I need to understand why. It's my family, too. Don't forget that. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I... I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. Uh, what does Alfred know, friends. man? The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. Oh, for real? No. Mm -mm. You kept their secrets for them. I'm trying to help you understand. And try harder!
Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father oh, so he did Hill have some ties to it. Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Working with Falcone and Hill. I expected a regular accounting man. Not a pact with the devil. Your father was a good man in many ways, but this was his undoing. Now I'm just I curious as to why. I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, How could I hold all right, fine, we're still family. You're all I've got, Alfred. I mean, I really don't want to, I won't let but you down again. I feel like we're really going to need some uh, some allies as this game goes on. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. Yeah, but did somebody order a hit on him? That's what I need to know. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, it's a fair assumption. You don't think. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. All right, we're going to do some detective work now. Sweet. Can't imagine we're going to do like uh, the full-on detective mode like uh, like we were in the warehouse that one time. All right, let's see what's over here. I want him standing here right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I take him to jail, just like any other criminal. But he's not just any criminal, is he? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Oh, well, at least we know what happens to Joe in this universe. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just... I can't picture him as a criminal. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. Alright, so we're not really getting so many clues as we are just kind of having him remember things. Alright, then. I think that works out a little bit better because honestly, why would uh, any kind of clues or evidence still be there after like, I don't know, 20 years or 10 years or something, whenever they said the, the shooting happened? Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Now, was she morally corrupt too, or was it just uh, Thomas Wayne? I think it'd be kind of interesting to see that maybe she wasn't as exactly corrupt or at, wasn't as morally end. compromised as he was. With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? 
Well, yeah, I kind of do. remember in the comics they always just sort of shot these guys once and just left them alone these guys that guy got his eye blown out and she got a hole blown through her uh, we got to have those shattered pearls though a shattered pearl necklace I need That was a pretty good start to the second episode. That was really cool. see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that hard, okay? And it means a lot to me. I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. I don't know why we're being nice to him. I mean, he kind of lied and cheated his way into a meeting with Falcone at the at the Wayne Mansion anyway. Tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. This is a personal matter, Harvey. Fine, fine, don't tell me. But I hope none of this comes back to bite us. I don't want headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, like the headlines with Falcone you had earlier? We finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. But everything's yeah. been a little busy. Yeah, don't, don't, don't worry about it, man. It's all good. Your friend gave us the whole case against Falcone. Oh, not worth mentioning, huh? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. We had to put Falcone in the infirmary. Batman practically tore him in half. Now, he's helped us a lot in the past, but if you ask me, he's out of control. Oh, there's no other dialogue? All right. Batman is a monster. A freak does more harm for Gotham than good. I'm starting to you know, we gotta keep up right. appearances. Well, at least someone's getting tough on these guys. I tell you, I'd rather have Falcone in here than out on the street. You weren't there, Harvey. You didn't see it. All right, Falcone's inside. You say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. Uh, that's kind of a weird lip movement, but all right.
No, he doesn't look too bad. For apparently getting stabbed by a pipe. The hell? Bruce Wayne. You must have some clout. <coughs> My own wife can't get in to see me. Good thing I'll be yeah, out money here talks, man. It's like a mausoleum in here. We need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth in here. <laughs> You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Until, yeah, until you hired the gun. Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Hey, I tried to get through to your dense party. Maybe I should have spelled it out. Got a whole closet full of birthday presents I was never able to give you. Watch it, Falcone. I still see some unbroken bones. <laughs> Tough guy, eh? There's not much left if you came for a piece of me. <coughs> Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <coughs> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? Uh, I really don't want to, but I really need that information too. I don't know. I think he's just gonna mess with me either way. Uh, you know, I think he's just gonna mess with me. I am not here to take care of you. You deserve to suffer for what you've done. Of course. You'd never know the truth. Oh, please, you, you wouldn't tell me anything anyway. Uh, uh, what kind of son did he make? Dent has plans for you. Gordon, too. I won't rob them of that. Good boy. Yeah. That's why you were kept in the dark. He loved you, you know. He did it all for you. He protected his own. And if you got on his bad side, your father was more ruthless than any of us. No he had way. A switch, you know. Still, I don't buy it. He made us all rich, including you. Some people just have the mind for it. He was one of the most brilliant men I ever knew. Until you hired an assassin to take him out. What you really think I ordered the hit? Sure. Well, yeah, your name was kind of brought up. The time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. Whoa, what? The wait what? You in hell. Wait, why? What? Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Go! She seemed fine out in the hall. What, uh... What, Nora? What happened? Was she poisoned or drugged? I mean, her mouth looked a little weird. Anybody else notice that? She had those, like, blue lines around her mouth and her lips looked blue. some time but not much or it's gonna get out sooner or later why would she do something like this we yeah that's what i'm saying biggest crime lord in our grasp 
this close. We were this close. I don't, I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. <sighs> it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. I don't know, man. That, case, that man, warning from Falcone seems pretty clear cut. Victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. That details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. The simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then we need the complex facts, like how and why. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Tell me if she says anything. I have to yeah, sure. I'll just leave you in here with uh, with the murderous cop, some rich guy that we barely know. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God! I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Still visible beneath her skin. It had to be some kind of poison. A fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... it would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light, like I could do whatever I wanted. All right, so guilt, some kind of mind control no drug. I wonder if it's it one of the police. Batman villains, it though. I wonder if uh, it wasn't like another crime family. Off. And all I need was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I shouldn't. They were a million miles away. You have to remember more, Montoya. Try. I remember a hand on my arm guiding me like a parent with a child the voice it was saying something about revolution cobblepot said something similar i'm so sorry lieutenant i've let you down we stalled falcone's lawyers for now but they'll be back so how is she did she tell you anything yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. Someone used her as a weapon, Harvey. They drugged her and sent her after Falcone. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics, let's right get now. Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! What, what are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories. 
about some kind of lockdown? Sorry, Vicky, I can't talk to the press. Your lips are moving. Words are coming out. You know what I mean. <laughs> Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. And I just told Not you I can't give that? you a comment. I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Always digging for a story, huh? So it's true? I didn't say that. Word is you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. And now you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just give me something ah, to work with. It's a hard decision. Please, get out of my way, Vicky. I'm in a hurry. Huh. Disappointing. Maybe you have more to do with this than I thought. Oh, come on. Like, it's bit, you know what, it's better to just take all the blame now because by the end of the game, I'm sure Batman's gonna, gonna clear everybody's name and everything's gonna go back to normal, so it's probably better to keep the heat off the GCPD right now. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found at the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick Maybe bed, somebody was surrounded by that police way. who were ordered to protect him. Falcone got off easy by getting killed. He deserved much worse. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. Was it somebody else trying to... Trying to steal a position in the in the inner circle this there. Fine drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. I guess kind of like how Poison Ivy brainwashes people, but she doesn't need to inject anyone. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy or out of control. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you? Oh. As far as I know, Montoya is still an isolated case. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. All right, let's go see what the penguin's up to. I wonder if he'll be on his uh, ship like in the Arkham games. Let's see, I want to use this drone. We can at least try to rule out. Let's see. Let's see. How does this part work? So. Oh, okay. Alright. Find her! Find her now! Send a strong message! Alright, so then we can use this drone. I guess he's not going to be anywhere near the water.
but he's definitely up to something shady. All right. The Skyline Club. Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Yeah, but I wonder how he's going to react now. He was already kind of crazy talking to us as Bruce Wayne. I wonder if this is the part when he's going to put on that bird mask. Like, remember the uh, the uh, the trailers for this for this episode? I'm wondering if he's going to end up having that mask or maybe start forming his gang. He's already got a group of guys with him. That's cool, he's doing like a Batman Beyond thing. Alright, so the Penguin definitely was in on the on the killing of Falcone. But why and how is he doing it? You lot, come check out this office. We're in trouble. You can help me, or you can. Uh oh. Let him go. Batman! It's about time. You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. They'll be pleased to know you think so highly of their work. You used an innocent cop to do your dirty work. I know how you've been using the drugs you stole at the docks. Where are they? Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Impaling the man on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone. Maybe, but definitely not like that. Stomped out. Believe me, I know from personal experience. I don't kill my enemies. Maybe that's why you got so many. Might be time to reconsider. As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? You're going to attack the mayor? That's not going to happen. Attack? Absolutely not. Mayor Hill's role has been decided. Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found What's with that look? Is it a Skrillex looking guy? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay and watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Or what's her name again? Selena. Yes, a oh, beautiful name. <laughs> oh, so were these the guys that she was supposed to meet up with? Man, get out of my way. Good. Isn't he gonna be right up? Oh, nope, okay, good. He took off. 
Now I gotta get after all those uh, all those other guys that just took off. Alfred, track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. Oh man, so now Selena's in trouble and we gotta go find her. But then, where is she? Hopefully she's at least around some other people. And kind of make a scene or something. Or no, we're gonna go to some CD joint in the middle of nowhere. Well, in the middle of the city, it's whatever. You, you know what I'm talking about. Alright, so some dive bar. I like how he kind of went in disguise, like he went with some, uh, I don't know, some, just some street clothes, but he didn't really like... Like, everybody knows who he is. I don't know, is there anything over here? Necessarily in that order. All right. Let's see what else can we find here? Uh, didn't you see the game here, asshole? Ooh. Uh. Thought Are I could just kind of. Yeah, my bad. I'm not my trying bad. to I'm cause any problems. Looking for trouble. It looks like it found you. I know you. You're that rich dude. You're that guy in the news. I think you got the wrong. Nope, guy. not me. Who do you think you're talking to? Your face is all over the TV. Bruce, stop stirring up the natives and buy me a drink. Wait, whoa. <laughs> this guy's with you? Face it, Frank. You suck at pool. Why are you starting trouble over it? <sighs> nice one, Bruce. Way to keep a low profile. Selena, I need to tell you something. He came up with like barely a disguise. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. I'm working Instead, on it. Leave me alone, man. Off. Well, I've met a couple of his goons myself. Your client isn't one for subtlety. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin. Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The penguin. <laughs> oh, we're just going to sit there and awkwardly it, stare? Okay. I can help you out of it. Tell me what you know about penguin. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? He thinks he's changing the world for the better, no matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. Whatever Penguin is planning, innocent people will end up in the line of fire. Innocence. Not me. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us working together? After Who all, cares what Harvey think? I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Oh. Harvey knows that. You and Harvey, it's 
pretty clear you aren't just friends. Please, I'm just toying with him. I only take my claws out for someone special. You and I... Oh, there's some kind of, kind of discussion about to happen there. Alright, and of course, now we got Penguins guys coming in. Mr. Skrillex over here. Well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says, hello. <laughs> With that, that terrible accent. Beat it. We're here for her. You care nah. about your own skin? Yo, get the hell out! There we go. Ooh, that's pretty bad. I like how he's just all, all confident. He's like, come on, we got this. Ooh. Now there we go, some teamwork action. Hey, he's got a little tiny knife, how am I ever going to beat him? Oh, there we go. Oops, that's the wrong button, there we go. He's hitting the circle button on accident for some reason. Smash into the bar. There we go. Not done yet. Come on, how many more guys are there? Yep, back to back. Make sure nobody's coming in. I think they want more. Then let's give it to them. There we go, just knock everybody out. Hey, not cool, man. That was a pool cue. Kinda wanted to hold on to that. There we go, we're gonna use both of them. I just made him more dangerous. Oh man, that looked painful. <clears throat> you fight pretty good for such a pretty boy. Whoops, the cops are here. We gotta get out of here. Or no, we can just go looting. Come on, this way. Alright, that, that bar fight was awesome. There were a ton of guys in there, but it was really cool to see those those fight moves there. Quick, check the alleyway. Oops, nope, don't check over here. Just wait till we leave first. Those guys are very good at their job. Sarcasm. Yeah, we're yep. we're all alone. Uh oh, what's going on over here? Yeah, why not? Let's go for it. Let's Oop. get out of here. All right, my mistake. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. Yes or no, will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe, but only because he's trying to kill me. Pretty good sure, reason. Sure, that's yes. the only reason. You shouldn't trust me, you know. I'll 
Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. I'm processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. Yeah, don't you want to at it's least fun. get out of the alley first? Have found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here, all from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. Hill's working with Penguin. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice... The whole world was horrified at what that man did to Falcone. You terrorized the mayor too. You could lose Gotham's goodwill completely. Then again, that man's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Well, all right, let's see. Let's try to think this out. If we go visit as Mayor Hill, he might be a little bit more willing to tell us certain things not necessarily everything but maybe certain things same goes for batman but i also think that maybe if we go as batman then we'll get caught by somebody and it's just going to turn out worse uh that's tough uh i think we should probably just go as bruce because maybe the mayor will be more willing to treat us like uh like how kind of how falcone was more like a like a i don't want to say family but more you know, uh, you know what? Let's just say family. Let's more, more like a family member type of deal. Let's Bruce just go with Bruce Wayne. Wayne. Probably best to just let Batman stay on the down low until we absolutely need him for something. Yeah, it looks very familiar. Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Uh, the mayor. I like how you're able to say that without your mouth moving. He really can't be disturbed right now. I was really hoping you'd be able to help me out. Who knows? Maybe I could return the favor one day. It seems you do have an appointment, Mr. Wayne. Silly me. There we go. Got to be a little bit more slick and uh, and cunning in this area. Bruce Wayne, finally you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to see you. We can be friends, Hill. I'd like us to put aside our differences. It's easy to ask for peace when you've already lost the war. But I won't be the one to deny a fresh start. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A young man like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It is you. So? What's your point? I take it you have one. Or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? Why attack me? Because of Dent and the campaign? I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, More and I, files. we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. Even if that's true, it's no excuse for Cobblepot's crimes. I quite agree. It doesn't hurt to understand your enemy's motives. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. 
But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival has bottomless pockets. Ooh. Now, if that rival Yikes. were to say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. Ah, we really should have shown up as Batman. Now I'm starting to really regret this choice. Because I feel like, look, he's, he, Harvey's going to turn out to be Two-Face either way. But I also don't want to kind of drag my name through the mud any more than I already have. Not All a right. chance, Hill. I'm not cutting Harvey loose. Well, you dropped on your head. Plus, Batman wouldn't well, do Gotham something like that hand, anyway. Take it. I don't need your hand. Not with your voice on tape. You forget who you're talking to. I'm the man that says I never left such and such a message. And all the judges bow their heads and say, Yes, sir. I'm the man who sends the police to your house to take your things. And I give them to whoever I please. You're nothing like your father. You'd never have the backbone to do what we did. I'm the heavyweight, Wayne. And you're punching above your weight. Get out of the ring before you get hurt. The judges may bow. But the voters will burn you at the stake when I turn you in. If that voicemail makes it to the papers, or anywhere else I don't like, I'll turn my commissioner loose on your lieutenant for that fiasco down at the precinct. Gordon? And then I'll turn him on you and Dent for being there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a debate to prep for. Get him out of here. Stay away from the debate. It's not safe. <laughs> Miss my chance to humiliate Dent. It'll take more than Cobblepot to keep me away. Alright, suit yourself, man. Well, uh, this whole meeting went horribly. Probably should have gone as Batman. Get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security of the debate. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. is on here. I like that they have a slot uh, specifically built for, Tony I guess, an iPhone. Tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. None of that matters now. The only thing that does is stopping Oz. The city needs you now more than ever. Yeah, but we really need to stop uh, Penguin, uh, though. I'll leave you to it, then. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff and making ad buys. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. In other news, nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars expecting a quiet night out, but police say a brawl tonight at the Stack Deck Bar in Otisburg was the rowdiest one in recent memory. Reports say multiple arrests were made, with all the suspects taken into custody while unconscious. Police are seeking an unidentified man and woman who were seen in conversation with the assailants shortly before the fight. 
Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path. Uh, so the there, we kind of made the news, the but uh, not swing, really. Rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff and making ad buys. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated by the incumbent. Yeah, and so Hill's nothing campaign. really new Even here. Nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars expecting a quiet night out, but police yeah, say... Yeah, yeah. All right, let's check the security cameras. Let's see what's going on. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now. Harvey needs to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... Well, it's not exactly pleasant. What, why? What happened? Are you all right? Me? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, you mean because of this penguin threat? They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of a kill, if you ask me. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Wait, what? Until Why? Until this mess with your family blows over. They're oh, okay. They're afraid it's not a very good... I, I get it. It's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. Oh, well, yeah, thanks. You could put thing, it that Bruce. way. Without your money, I am dead in the water. Oh, so I don't want to I talk to you, but please give me more of your money. I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me Come on, man. know the truth about our friendship. Forget your ah, campaign for a minute. Come on. The money won't matter if you're dead. Yeah, well, until I am, it is still my primary concern. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham, that's what we wanted. I'll always yeah, but... Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means don't to me. don't want anybody to keep dragging my name down anymore. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> Guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate. Which somewhere. one? Ha <laughs> ha No matter what I have to say tonight, remember, you are always my friend. That's gonna be so awkward when he turns into Two Face. Yeah, all quiet so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. But just so we're clear, you and me, we're on shaky ground. Jim, listen. No, listen to me. The excessive violence, it, it can't go on. Most right, of the GCPD enough. already think you're a monster. Don't prove them right. You're lucky I'm on your side. That may be true. Oh, that's I not what I... Oh. <laughs> I did we not want to about, have that kind of inflection there. Your security has been Ooh. compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're going to drag out that dead horse? I think she's mending her ways. Oh, he's right, Lieutenant. I don't do the bad things anymore. Unless it's on request. This better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. 
That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like yeah, you scratch so. my back, I cut some people up. Doing the right thing. Maybe there's hope for you yet. Don't read too much into it. I'm just allergic to owing you anything. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Now you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. Now we are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. Even as Batman, he's doing campaigning for his friend. I mean, that works. It's cool. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, incumbent mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger, Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. Rise in the crime rate, income inequality, and yes, a massive vigilante loose on our streets. And you're done, and you're done. Alright, so I guess we're going to use the drone to try to figure out what's going on around the rest of the building. Oh, and we got three dead cops. They weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, those goddamn so sons sorry, of ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business. Firing the mark! Oh. I hate to be a downer, but these hostages? I don't like their chances. Oh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. If we're quick and decisive, no one else has to die. If you say so. But Penguin's playing for keeps. Fanatics always do. <gasps> You'll do. Get out here. Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. Yes. Thank you for volunteering. Please. No. Go on then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right, I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Gotta take them out quietly. Uh, are we gonna use the drone now? Yep. Okay. All right, so how are we doing this? We got. Three thugs in the room. I say we go for the one that's closest. We're gonna link the gunman to the camera behind him. All right, all right. Oh wait, 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 wait. Hold on. We pro are we gonna do this guy first? And he's facing away, he's vulnerable. We should deal with the guy over there by the door, but this guy's in front of hostages and we need to get rid of him. Clear a sight line across the whole room. Okay, so you know, we really do need to get this guy out of here like as soon as possible. We can't throw him into another another guy with a gun, so I guess we're gonna throw him here. Okay. Okay, and then we got this guy. Hmm. Able to call for help. Okay, so. Heavy duty, multiple sounds to and from the stage. Not the table, because those people are sitting there. 
won't give me the option for the light. So I guess we're going into the door, if it'll let me pick the door. Alright, so I have my options. I guess Catwoman's gonna help out with something. Hmm. Alright, alright. Boom! Knocked out. And, hmm. Slam the doors. Please don't shoot those people. Oh, somebody's still awake. Hey, where are you going? Yeah, Maybe thanks for helping time. out. Keep your heads down. Make for the police line. I hope somebody remembers that. I kind of need to pick up my reputation a little. A word from our sponsor. My what? We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade. That's not this creepy at all. The corruption that's rooted your city. For too long, men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. Tonight, we show you the truth. What? Someone I picked else the option. The strings. Smart. Let someone else do your dirty work. Oh, come on. Controller problems all of a sudden. Oh, this could be very bad for, for the mayor. What tape? Subject nine. Dad. I thought your father was dead. Subject nine, Esther Cobblepot. You've been declared criminally insane and committed to Arkham indefinitely as a ward of the state. Please, I'll sell you the land. Please don't do this. You had your chance. You should have made the deal we offered you. Give her the drug. Thomas, we were friends. We first played together. Ooh, wow, this is not good. I always get what I want. Commence the procedure. Give her a dose she won't come back from. What? No. No. -uh. Now you know. Now you will see. This has got to be fake. Come on. Come 
my man. You certainly know how to make an entrance. Go. Why don't you kick the crap out of here? Uh oh. Uh, so how are we gonna beat this guy? Didn't exactly feel anything we threw him threw at him before. No, please, I never had you could Wait, what? I had him killed because of it. All right, big twist. So this is for her. Don't you kill anyone else? Why your turn, Dent? Oh, all right, we got the electric glove going on. All right, I'm pretty sure he's done. Go go handle Harvey and uh, Penguin now. The revolution's already started. It's too late to join. Your revolution is over, Penguin. On the contrary, we're just getting started! You have a gun, right? Oh. Come on. I'm gonna make a choice. Ah, I knew he was gonna. All right, sorry, Selena. You gotta think long term. So Penguin got away. Selena probably hates us. Or, well, not probably. We got her shot. So, yeah, definitely she hates us. City Hall um, is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. Mr. Wayne. Lieutenant. He's lucky. It would have been much worse if the Batman hadn't been there. Yeah, he probably would have been too safe. still will be scars.
We are the children of Arkham, and we have opened your eyes. All right, so that was a re that was a lot of really hard choices in this episode. All right, did you ease Falcone's pain or make him suffer? This one, at least, I could kind of understand. Um, making him suffer. I mean, why would you give him the the medicine? Maybe I'll I'm gonna do that maybe in a different uh, playthrough. Like once I've wrapped up episode one the way I want to, I'll record it, put it on YouTube later. But. Um, yeah, so the morphine thing, okay. Did you kiss Selena? Well, yeah, I mean, that seems pretty obvious. Did you visit Mirror Hill? I should have done Batman. I know I kept saying it at yeah, that part, but I really, really should have gone as Batman. It would have made so much more sense. Did you withdraw your funding? No, funding him makes more sense. Did you save Selena or Harvey? I should have, I'm thinking I should have saved Selena. I mean, I get, look, hear me out, all right? It makes sense to save Harvey. It probably makes more sense to save Harvey because he's not going to turn into Two-Face, I don't think, yeah, because of this. He's not going to turn into Two-Face, which means he's still going to be a candidate for mayor, and he'll still be able to help kind of build up the city in a way Batman can't. But now with Selina, I don't know if we're going to be able to repair that relationship. I think we've kind of damaged that in a way that we're not going to be able to fix up over the next, uh, how long is this game? Like five episodes? I think we're not going to be able to fix this over the next three episodes. I mean, I could be wrong, but we probably, I probably should have saved Selena over Harvey. Again, it's something I'll probably do in a future playthrough after the other episodes come out and we see how these choices affect that. All right, so what's going on next time? I need to see this. This this is awesome. I'm very, very hyped up now. I need to see what's going on here. Next time on Batman, the Telltale series. Batman saved me. And I know this isn't over. Who are these people, Bruce? Authorities are scrambling. The so-called children of Arkham have the city in a frenzy, but there's still no sign of their masked leader. With Hill and Falcone dead by their hands, the question on everyone's lips is, who's next? After that news about your father sending innocent people to Arkham, sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. The Waynes have always run this company, but now... They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? What do you want from me? You know what I want. No more hiding. Not for anyone. But don't worry. Bruce Wayne's finally gonna get what's coming to him. Bruce! Bruce! What? Alright, alright. Let's just kind of reflect on what we just saw there for a second. Alright, so... It looks like... We will be able to repair the relationship with Selena, so I'm... Glad I went with saving Harvey over Selena, so now we don't have another headache with Two-Face. At least for right now. Um... We have the children of Arkham we've still got to deal with. I'm curious to see who that is under that mask as their leader. I'm sure everybody is. But my guess, just off the top of my head, I mean, obviously I'm not sitting around thinking about it. I'm not, like, trying to look up anything. But I think this might be another version of Anarchy. Now, remember, I mean, just remember what we've seen so far. They're talking about revolutions. They're talking about uh, trying to change Gotham. Talking about getting rid of corruption. All this stuff that Anarchy's been doing. Um, if you play the Arkham games, you've seen him do that in Arkham Origins. Uh, you've probably seen, I think he was in Arkham Knight too, so maybe he was doing that in there too. Uh, he was doing it in, in the comics for the longest time, so I think that's what we're going to be seeing as another version of Anarchy. I'm just wondering who all we're going to see in the next episode as villains, because 
if the if Wayne Enterprises, if the board of directors is going to start trying to maybe shove Bruce out, yeah, it could be the company reacting to the bad publicity surrounding him, but I'm also wondering if we're going to be seeing any like Court of Owls type situation, and if so, then how is that going to tie in to what we've seen so far in these first two episodes? But I don't know, there's a lot of stuff we got to think about, a lot of stuff we're going to have to go over, so I'm probably going to spend some time thinking about that. Maybe I'll do a video on it at some point. If you go ahead and check that out, uh, for all those people I'm talking to on Twitch, if you go ahead and check this out later, you should go watch my YouTube channel. It's at Comic Books vs. The World. That's Comic Books vs. Versus the World on YouTube. i got a whole bunch of stuff going on there. Uh, and for the YouTube people, I hope you enjoy seeing my playthrough of the second episode of Batman the Telltale series and I will see you all next time.